Okay, so I woke up really late today due to daylight savings time, most likely. Um, then I go on my phone. Oh, and by the way, I got an iPhone X. Yeah, I'm not crazy. Uh, so, yeah. Um, I saw on Bleacher Report, and then I looked on Twitter, just to clarify if I read this correctly, that Chris Jericho will challenge Kenny Omega at Wrestle Kingdom 12 of New Japan Pro Wrestling on January 4th. Um... I thought this was just, oh, oh, this is just a joke. Like, th this clearly can't happen for various business reasons. But, like, it was hinted a little bit during, on Twitter, between Jericho and Kenny Omega. They were exchanging tweets back and forth. And I thought, oh, it's just banter between two wrestlers from different companies. Like, they, like a lot of wrestlers do that. And, yeah, it, it's really happening. Yeah, I was surprised by that. Like, originally Jericho had said this um, on Twitter 16 hours ago at the time of this video. Believe me, I got zero interest in your business or New Japan Pro Wrestling 1972. But I've got an idea where we could sell this. And he showed an emoji picture of the cru of the ship because Chris Jericho's going to have a cruise ship soon next year. So I thought, oh, are they going to do a non-recorded matchup with each other on the cruise? Like, that would be awesome promotion. And Kenny Omega responded with, um, uh, saying this, can't check, got a title match today, which you can all check out at New Japan World, Pro Wrestling World. But I plan to revisit this topic tomorrow at 12 noon Eastern Standard Time. So... Yeah, I was thinking, okay, like, they might fight on the ship, which would actually be a promising moment, especially since the Young Bucks are said to be going on there. Um, but then, Chris Jericho showed up via pre taped vignette, uh, cutting a promo about how he's the best in the world, how even though there's Shawn Michaels, there's Edge, and there's CM Punk, referencing WWE wrestlers in, Japan, in New Japan Pro Wrestling... Uh, Jericho said that he's still the best in the world because out of all those three guys and many more, he's the one that stayed. So he challenged Kenny Omega after he had defended his championship um, at Power Struggle, defeating Trent. I'm not going to try and pronounce his last name. Uh, before uh, Jericho came on a big screen and called himself the best wrestler in the world and challenged Kenny Omega at Wrestle Kingdom 12, which Kenny immediately accepted. Oh my god, this 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 has to be a, a dream. I, I have to be imagining this. They're going to do this. This will be Jericho's first appearance outside of WWE when it comes to wrestling since 1999. And the last time he wrestled outside WWE was before he wrestled out in WWE back in WCW. And this will be his return to New Japan Pro Wrestling since it probably was a lot longer. Like, before he went to WCW, he went to the ECW, and then I think before that he was in Japan. I could be wrong. So, yeah, like, Kenny Omega and Jericho exchanged tweets back and forth, like Chris Jericho saying he comes from the major leagues, and Kenny Omega comes from the minor leagues, and no. Kenny Omega took shots at uh, the WWE while directly mentioning them. So... Yeah, I was generally surprised that this match is like, oh my god, this match is actually happening? We're taking social media exchanges seriously now? Oh, um, man, this could be very big. So, yeah, like Miz and Baron Corbin, like, okay, you, like, now you don't have to care about that matchup, because their exchange on Twitter, because they're not Chris Jericho and Kenny Omega. So, yeah, um... Chris Jericho is going to fight Kenny Omega on New Japan Pro Wrestling's turf, not the other way around. And it got me thinking, like, oh, I wonder how Vince feels about this. Really think about this. I, I keep saying this on Bleach Report in the comment section uh, on the article saying, um, well, he's never going to work in WWE ever again, or so long as Vince still lives in the company, because... Could you really imagine Vince, of all people, approving this? Because I'm pretty certain he's not. Because he is extremely petty 
with or without the daddy issues he may or may not have. But, yeah, um, this is the same guy that fired somebody over taking a picture with the Bullet Club, uh, ceased to desisting the Bullet Club from using the two-sweet gesture, which Kenny Omega and the Bullet Club responded with one sweet. Wow, way to kick, way to mock them. The Young Bucks cut a promo on, on the WWE saying how they love being who they are and allow, are allowed to do what they want, as opposed to in WWE where it's all restricted and whatnot. So, yeah, I, like, there is another theory that you could go with, though I highly doubt Vince would actually realistically approve of this. That Jericho was, what, that they, they encouraged Jericho to do this, because Chris Jericho doesn't have an actual exclusive contract, he more like works dates, in fact, his, in fact, his return match in July, back on SmackDown Live, um, was strictly because, oh, um... Jericho's in town. Can we use him? Okay. And they use logic in there, so clearly that makes sense. Um, so, yeah. Kevin Owens and AJ Styles may have had maybe the last two guys to have fought Jericho in a WWE ring. Because I highly doubt they're going to let him come back after this. I, I wouldn't be surprised if WWE tried to blacklist him. Claiming he's the enemy now. He's sided with our enemies and whatnot. Not realizing that the roster hates Vince and the rest of the company's management. And Triple H is like, oh god, are you being serious? Like, I tried to talk you out of firing Titus O'Neil. Do I have to talk you out of this? So, yeah. Um, Kenny Omega and Chris Jericho, they're going to steal the show. I, I guarantee it. In fact, I might watch this match live. If I can. Like, I would be tempted to get the New Japan Pro Wrestling World thing, which is like the WWE Network, but I, I don't think it'd be worth just doing it for one match, though. This is Chris Jericho and and Kenny Omega. The Isla Tilla Rock and Rolla versus The Cleaner. The Alpha versus The Omega. The best of the world of WWE versus the best of New Japan Pro Wrestling. Oh god, there is so much. And it's not like Jericho needs the WWE for the his for anything. He wants to wrestle. He could not have done this. And they could just just exchange our Twitters and no one would be much of eye of the beholder. Because oh, wrestlers exchange tweets all the time. Especially Jim Ross. So to see that this match is actually happening, Jericho doesn't need to wrestle, he just wants to wrestle. And WWE is going to do everything in their power, probably. Like I said, there's also a slight chance that maybe that they want to see if they can work with New Japan Pro Wrestling. Though, considering Vince is very anti-helpful and the guy that mostly seems to be the ambassador towards independent wrestling is Triple H. I don't see how Vince could be talked into doing this. Especially since everyone keeps saying, Better than WWE! And whatnot. Yeah, I, I know that chant doesn't really exist, but still. Um, yeah, Kenny Omega, Chris Jericho, they're guaranteed to steal the show. Well, that's hard to say because Japan has really talented wrestlers like Kazusuka Okada. I finally got that name right. So I pat myself on the back there. But Chris Jericho, yeah, I don't see him coming back to WWE after this. I just don't. It's not his fault. It's Vince's fault because he's going to do everything in his power to make certain that this that he doesn't come back. I wouldn't be surprised if we treated him like Sexy Star, except Sexy Star committed a horrible atrocity on the face of wrestling. So, yeah. Vince, you just lost Chris Jericho pretty much. Chris Jericho may no longer need WWE, and he just wants to do this for fun and wants to get on the huge gravy train, huge high-speed train going on in Japan. So, oh god, like, let's see, if Chris Jericho wrestles the WWE style, that's gonna give him serious heat in Japan. Like, I can imagine Chris Jericho saying that he's from the major leagues and he's just indulging them with his, their, their, Gra he's gratifying them with his presence because he's from the major leagues of the wrestling world and whatnot. Like, Chris Jericho could be the heel, the ultimate heel in Japan. Like, 
Imagine it! Chris Jericho wrestling the WWE style against Kenny Omega who wrestles the Japan style. That would be perfect. So, yeah. It, it's going to be awesome. Like, if they do this, it's going to be awesome. And I hope Chris Jericho shows up on certain episodes to build this up because they can do it on Twitter or on the internet. But imagine if they did the interactions live on in TV instead of pre-taped. But, yeah, Chris Jericho doesn't really have a contract with WWE per se. He has a work certain date system he does with them. But, let's be honest, he's probably never going to be allowed back in WWE. Like, the talent probably don't care that he goes somewhere else. But, Vince cares because he's oversensitive like that. In fact, I could say he's the original SJW, and they suck. But, yeah, it's going to be... Oh, God, I, I can't stop laughing at this because it's just so crazy that this is actually happening. Oh, man. So, yeah, those were my thoughts on Chris Jericho versus Kenny Omega announcement for New Japan Pro Wrestling's Wrestle Kingdom 12. This was Neo Reality Aaron Jr. Feel free to like, comment, subscribe, and donate to you soon for more.